fast can I explain the basics of calculus three? Let's find out. So you're gonna be working in the third dimension in calculus three, and a three-dimensional graph looks like this. But this x-axis is actually going through, so you can pretend this is coming out of the screen, but this is what it looks like. And you plot points similarly in three dimensions that you do in two dimensions. This time it's gonna be x and y and z. So let's say we wanna plot points like this. Well, if I wanna plot this first point, all I need to do is look at where my coordinates are telling me to go. So I need to travel negative three units in the x direction, three units in the y direction, and four units up in the z direction. And that's gonna be my point one. Now if I wanna plot point two, I just do the same thing. So here I go four units in the x direction, negative two units in the y direction, three units in the z direction, and that plots point two right there. Now if you ever needed to calculate the distance between two points, you could actually use this equation right here. This equation will give you the distance between any two points that you plot. So for example, if you took your x1, y1, and z1 from point one and plugged it into this equation, and then took x2, y2, and z2 from point two and plugged it in, this would actually give you the distance between these two points. You should get the square root of 75 is gonna be how many units are between point one and two. So for these next two sections, you're gonna to need to understand how to do derivatives and definite integrals. And on the screen, I have the power rule for both of them. So feel free to pause this video right now and make sure these two rules make sense before moving on to the next section. Partial derivatives are just like derivatives, but you're going to do them with only respect to one term at a time. So since we're with respect to x, we're going to treat every place we see y like it's a constant number. So let's see how we can take the partial derivative with respect to x. So the partial derivative with respect to x, you're going to use the power rule first. And simplifying down, you should get this expression. Notice how we only use the power rule on terms that had x in them. Anything that was y, we just treated like it was another constant number. So this is the partial derivative with respect to x. Notice that we got rid of this y term at the end because the derivative of a constant is zero, and we're treating y like it's constant. But now we want to take the derivative with respect to y. So now we're going to treat x like it's constant. So in this case, you're going to use the power rule here. Notice that this 5x to the fourth becomes zero because we only have x terms here. We don't have any y terms. So that's just an entire constant number. And then from here, you can simplify down and you get that value right there. So that's the partial with respect to x and the partial with respect to y. Now let's talk about multivariable integration. What you want to do is start by working from the inside. And so you're going to integrate the inside and you can use that, that reverse power rule for antiderivative, but it's reversed from the derivative power rule. So we're we're bounding that from one to three. And so what I'm gonna do is use that power rule on the top and bottom here. Now that I've used the power rule, I can simplify down. And now I wanna take my terms and I wanna plug them in. So first off, I wanna take that three and plug it in for every place I see y. And from here, I can simplify these terms. Now I wanna take that one and plug it in for every place I see y. And here I can simplify those terms as well. So on the left side is where I plugged in with three as my bound. And here's where I plugged in everything with one as my bound. Now I just need to subtract the lower bound from the higher bound. And that's going to give me this result. So now that I have this result, I can now bring down the other integral with respect to x and apply it to this function I just calculated. I expect by now that you already have a decent take on integration, but at this point, these are gonna be the steps and you can pause the video by tapping on your screen and see if the steps make sense. And you should end up with negative 22. So that is gonna be the multivariable integral for this function. And that was also a basic introduction to what you'll be doing in calculus three.